today I'm reviewing the Holika Holika Less On Skin Pantha Bible Vegan Cream. And really quick, I'm Sarah. This is No BS Beauty. I purchase all these products with my own money. So if you want to help support the channel, like this video, share it, subscribe, uh, click the links below, or check out my Patreon community. So, okay, so I was kind of excited about this line when it came out uh, because this brand has a lot of fragrance in a lot of their stuff. So a lot of their products I just can't use, though I make, they do make a lot of makeup products as well as some skincare <laughs> stuff so when this line came up i was a little bit more excited about it manio has another line that's seems similar to this but anyway so i picked the cream because i always have dry skin i can't you can never have enough good face moisturizers so okay so they call us a soothing cream that effectively soothes and moisturizes sensitive skin this is a vegan cream that can calm irritation caused by surgical masks or medical treatments. Features panthenol, which strengthens the skin barrier and performs a protective layer on your skin to defend against external uh, stimulations. There's a little sticker over this, and I had to peel it off just out of curiosity. And the sticker underneath this, this says D-Panthenol 10%. When I peel it off, it says D-Panthenol 4.9%. So at some point before the packaging was done, they changed the percentage I guess anyway that's weird but okay in terms of packaging this is a paper tube and this is a better paper tube than other ones um, there's a brand that has a sunscreen in a paper tube and the paper tube is very flimsy this one is more firm and I feel like it's not gonna explode on me like the other one just seems like it's about to tear at any second so no issues with that in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. Uh, it's also fragrance-free and has no real noticeable scent to it, which is wonderful. Sometimes things without any fragrance can have like a little chemical scent to it. This doesn't have that at all. It's wonderful. The manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. Uh, so ease of use. So this one's got kind of like a cream gel texture almost. There we go. And a little bit goes a long way with this one so like a dime sized amount is enough to cover my entire face so it smooths it over skin really nicely it works well over other serums or other uh, textured products but works great under sunscreen as well I'm using it today uh, underneath my sunscreen and foundation so it really feels nice on skin without looking greasy or shiny or feeling greasy um, it sets to a slightly radiant finish just slightly it's not a matte finish it's not a natural finish it's a little bit shiny um and it is just a little bit tacky but not terribly so but if you're gonna use sunscreen over it anyway it's not a big issue um so you can use it morning or evening or both and i prefer using this one in my morning routine just because it feels not heavy enough uh that it leaves my skin greasy so morning it works great in the evening my skin needs a little bit more moisture so I either will layer this or I'll use something different. But this is just perfect for uh, my morning routine. So no issues at all with ease of use. Uh, okay, in terms of animal testing, this is brand is this is this product is vegan, obviously. However, it appears that this brand is sold in mainland China, where animal testing is required. Although it's changing all the time, so who knows? But. Um, the brand that owns them is not cruelty free and appears if this is sold in mainland China at this point, it still has to be animal tested. So not cruelty free, but vegan. It's a rare instance where something is vegan, but not cruelty free. Usually it's either both, but anyway, so it's, yeah. So anyway, all over everything, it says vegan, 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 but nowhere on earth does it say like cruelty free or anything like that. So anyway. That's my judgment of the situation. Okay, in terms of performance, it does a nice job hydrating skin without feeling or looking greasy. It smooths over skin really nicely. It plays well with other products. Um, again, for my evening routine, it's not quite hydrating enough. For my morning routine, it's perfect. Although in the summer, maybe this will be fine at night. Although I'm almost finished with it. So uh, in the summer routine, this might be enough for me at night when my skin isn't as dry. Uh, it does feel calming and feels soothing and helps a little bit on red or irritated skin. Uh, use this where I had a small cut on my face. I accidentally scratched my face with my nail. Uh, and this seemed to help heal it over a few days. Panthenol is very nice and soothing. Um, 
for very dry skin, you can layer a thicker sleeping mask over this in your evening routine. Um, occasionally, I sandwich this with my Tretinol, but it just, my Altrino, but it just wasn't quite enough hydrating. Um, super friendly for most skin types. For acne prone skin, we've got a few ingredients of note. We've got pentaethyl trital tetriososterate. We've got olive oil. <laughs> I can pronounce that properly. We've got Citera alcohol and then carbomer. So four ingredients for acne prone skin. Okay, in terms of the ingredients, so we've got 10% panthenol, unless you peel the tube off where it says, da -da -da, suddenly it's 5% panthenol. <laughs> but anyway, panthenol is great. It's soothing, it's wound healing, it's a humectant, it's anti-inflammatory, it's skin protecting, it's wonderful. We've got uh, hydroxyl ethyl urea, which is a urea derivative that has moisturizing and humectant benefits for skin. Um, according to the manufacturer, hydroxyl ethyl urea has a similar moisturizing ability to glycerin, but feels nicer on the skin and is less sticky and non-tacky and gives a moist feeling to the skin. We've got olive oil, antioxidant emollient, beta-glucan, humectant, wound healing, skin soothing, anti-aging, beta-glucan is all that. It's all that and a bag of chips. Is that staying still cool? <laughs> it's all that and a bag of chips. Okay, we've got that yam root extract that's starting to become more and more popular. Yam root extract is a wonderful emollient, skin soothing, skin conditioning ingredient. We've got vegetable oil, which I always kind of cringe when I see vegetable oil because I always think of like vegetable oil. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we've got shea butter, antioxidant, skin soothing, hydrating ingredient. We've got arginine, skin identical ingredient, amino acid. We've got sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant. Then we've got sucrose, which is another humectant. And then finally, glycerol glucose, another humectant. So nice ingredient list. Nothing crazy exciting, but some good hydrating ingredients and soothing ingredients in here, which I love to see. Um, in terms of the price, so when it first came out, it was a little bit more expensive. Now I see it retailed for around $20. It's 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces. $20 makes it decently affordable so not too expensive or ridiculously pricey although i will say i'm almost finished with this tube so maybe that's because i really liked it or maybe because it went fast i don't know although i do like using this in place of the drunk elephant proteiny where i love that moisturizer for so long this stuff has a similar texture and feel and it replaced it very nicely Okay, in terms of the it factor, very nice, gentle moisturizer, friendly for most skin types, uh, fragrance-free, nice for sensitive skin, nothing revolutionary, but a decent, well-made moisturizer cream, although I wish I knew they were cruelty-free or not, but anyway. So, with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one an 8. It's really nice. Uh, they've got another whole line of other stuff, so I'll have to check that out. I think they also have a, a cream so maybe that one will be a little bit more hydrating uh, than this one. This one's probably more friendly for oilier skin. The cream probably will be nicer for dry skin. So I'll check that one out next too. So anyway, interest hearing from you guys. If you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, uh, or if you're trying anything else out from this line or this brand, leave a comment what it is, what you like about it, and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.